It's kind of like, imagine a sweet with half the sugar. And so it's a half a sugar sweet, but after the extreme sourness, the half sugar actually tastes sweet. And then you get a subtly rewarded with the subtle flavour of watermelon coming through. So it's an interesting idea, as I called you, behind sweets like this. One, give it a name, which in and of itself is terrifying, but also to a kid is just a straight up challenge. Can you eat something called toxic waste that even has uh, a health warning on the back of it? You eat it and you're thinking, now typically speaking, I was not doing this. I would have just spat that sweet straight out because it tasted disgusting. Hyper, hyper sour. But the second time I took it out of my mouth, which was a natural reaction because it's so disgusting, a little trace of sweetness came through, which made me think, maybe it's worth persevering. I never thought sweets as something that would teach you a life lesson about persevering. But that's what you get out of the sweet. Never give up. Bit odd, but never give up. Now, I don't really like connecting that kind of philosophy with the sweet, but I think you get the point.